When I say store, just for context, I mean basically any situation where you have a consumer and a brand, right? And they're interacting. Let's use that in context as a store environment. But when you look at the concept of a store, really since about 400 BC to about 1994, nothing really changed. Not so much changed, right? It was always about destinations. So I, as a consumer, had to go somewhere to get something. And even the web didn't change it all that much. The address of the store just became a URL instead of a street address. But I still had to make a conscious trip to the store. So we want to look at how this notion is changing. And three fundamental kind of ironclad laws have remained in effect since about 400 BC. And they are that distribution of a product created a destination. Right? Because distribution was scarce, if I put my product as a manufacturer in a certain location, I by default made that location a destination for consumers. That's changing. Retailers fundamentally controlled what happened within their aisles. They controlled that environment. And brands controlled the message within that environment. Brands controlled what was said about their product, on their product, on the signage around their product. The four things I want to cover with you today are four concepts. The first being what I call the third shelf. The third shelf concept is what, what brands are grappling with. The second piece is this notion of now the consumer being in control. And we'll look at the various ways in which the consumer is reclaiming control of their shopping experience. The third is collective branding, a concept that whether we like it or not, we're going to have to get used to this notion of collective branding. And then lastly, mobile 3.0. You're probably getting a lot of point .0s thrown at you, and you're going to wonder, like, well, wait a minute. The other guy said 2.0. You're saying 3.0. Uh, we, none of us really know, okay, just so you know. We don't really know. But my, my version of this is I think right now we're in mobile 2.0. I think mobile 1.0 was voice, maybe text. Now we're in 2.0 where we brought in social, we brought in location. We're going to look at what I think 3.0 looks like. I think it's time for every brand to begin to claim their third shelf. I think that's the stage we're at right now. Claim the third shelf or shelves. Find out where these are and plot them out. Don't think in terms of channels. Think in terms of moments. Where are the moments in a person's life when they think about our products, where we're relevant and contextual to them, and what surfaces can we be on at that moment when they need us? How can we bring our, our brand to them? Embrace collective branding. Um, there are brands out there that are trying to run away from it, but I think you have to actually give people the tools to come with you on the journey of collective branding. Treat physical stores as though they were media and treat everything else in the world as though it's a store. Right? Turn the equation completely around and start inventorying contextual data now before you have to plug all that into that huge algorithm I was talking about. Find out where consumers talk about you and, and, and start to gather and inventory that data now. And go first. It'll be okay. And you know, every now and then it won't be okay. <laughs> but in those situations, you just go second. That's all. Um, but having said that, Ultimately, there is a strong correlation, a growing correlation between the brands that are going first and the brands that are winning. It's not about the canary in the coal mine anymore. Brands that go first are brands that are winning. And maybe they're winning just because they're experimenting. But the only way any of us are going to avoid the disruption ultimately in the marketplace is if we are the ones that are causing it.